when somebody goes to the bathroom, you can hear it. It's really charming. What's happening, everybody? It's Scott here from WFLBC, and I'm coming to you from the slightly revamped uh, studio space. I've adjusted the shelves up here. I got a new cabinet over here. I got new shelving over here. Uh, that Bluetooth speaker is really, really nice. Uh, it's a good addition to the studio. Today's new camera day. Best day ever. I love getting new cameras, especially when they're actually not new cameras, when they're old cameras. Usually for me, that means a film camera. Uh, I recently did that crappy camera challenge with that Sony DSLR that was six or seven years old. This isn't that. This is, again, not a new camera, but it's not a crappy camera. I recently found an insane deal on the original, the very first Fujifilm X-Series camera. The original X100. Ooh, look at how beautiful that is. This is a camera I've had my eye on for a while, and you might wonder why I didn't go with the X100S or the X100T or the X100F. I didn't go with the F because it cost too much money. I didn't go with the S because... Uh, there's a bunch of reasons for that, but the T, I think, was my main consideration instead of this, but I found this for about $200 less than the current asking price across all of eBay um, from a guy in Kuwait, of all places. I ordered it two days ago. It's already here. Uh, I don't know what the frame count is on this thing. I have no idea how to check that on a Fujifilm camera. I'd imagine I'd have to take some pictures and see what the frame count is if it's set to record those file numbers sequentially. I think that's the only way you can do it. I haven't really had a chance to dive into this yet. But before I get into why I got this camera, it's a little bit too plain Jane for me at the moment. So I'm gonna hipster it up a little. Give me one sec. And we're back. Red soft shutter release, lens hood, rope strap. You gotta look, this is a good looking camera. That's the reason you buy this camera. Cause it looks so good. Just some of the basic specs of this camera. It is uh, not an X-Trans sensor. It's uh, just a Bayer sensor, 12 megapixels, APS-C size sensor. This was really the first properly marketed camera, compact camera, point and shoot camera to have an APS-C size sensor. I think Sigma did it before that, but everything Sigma does just flies right under the radar. They do make fantastic cameras, but they're always just a little bit weird. Um, this is what kicked off the retro rangefinder style for the Fuji X series. It's got that hybrid viewfinder that's both optical and an EVF, so you can switch it over with uh, this little switch right here. Again, the threaded shutter release that I've got this uh, beautiful little red uh, button in. I haven't shot any pictures with this thing yet. I got it, like I said, I got it today. I got it from Kuwait. I can't believe how fast it got here from the Middle East. Like that is absolutely, it blew my mind. It, gets here, it got here faster than uh, the thumb grip that I ordered for it from Amazon. So I don't have the hipster thumb grip on the top of it yet. Uh, that is on its way. I just, I absolutely love the look of this camera. I'll link below. I tested out the X100F in Honolulu last summer and I loved the camera, but there were a few things I didn't, oh, my wife's flushing the toilet. I see my studios in my garage and uh, the, the plumbing pipes run right over there. And um, when somebody goes to the bathroom, you can hear it. It's really charming. Anyways, the, the button layout on the back of this camera is a little bit different than the 100F. The 100F's got a Q button right here, so when you're holding the camera, your thumb wants to rest right on that Q button, which launches into the quick menu. This camera doesn't have a quick menu, so no need for a Q button. I would like that Q button. Didn't like where it was on the 100F. Whatever. Also, uh, this still has all these controls down the side here. Everything on the 100F has been moved over here and this screen is shifted uh, to take up this whole side of the camera. I am so excited to shoot with this camera. You, you have no idea, you guys. I've wanted an original X100 for about three years and I finally just found a killer deal on one, so I picked it up. One thing I will say about this camera, I am absolutely spoiled to death with the rest of my cameras and their 
short startup time. Watch the startup time on this camera, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. See, you see how long that took? Oh my God. The startup time is ludicrous, but when it does go into rest mode, it does fire up with a half uh, shutter press and it actually does a, a pretty nice job of firing up in a reasonable fashion. My wife was just letting the dog out. Having a, a place in my home to make YouTube videos, fantastic. Having it in the garage, less than ideal. I've never been as excited about any camera that I've ever bought before as I am about this X100. There's a big truck driving by. I, I also live on a busy street, so this whole studio setup, like I love it. It's got some challenge. On, on the new camera front too, I also have Fujifilm blew my mind about a month ago, or maybe it's more than that now, when they announced the X-T100. So don't confuse that with an X-100T. The X-T100 is essentially an X-A5 with a viewfinder and a screen that flips out sideways like for vlogging, which I am thrilled about because I don't use my Fujifilm cameras for vlogging as much as I should because they don't have that screen. I can't see what's going on. I use the X-A5 for vlogging in New Zealand. I had a weird uh, bracket set up, uh, like a flash gun bracket, so I could use the microphone to the side of the camera so that the screen could flip up and face forward. It flips up on the, on the top of the camera and set it to the side. This new one is going to be a much better setup for sort of run and gun vlogging. It's supposed to be here in a week or two. I want the champagne color. I've requested to review the champagne color just because it reminds me of uh, some super exclusive cameras from like the 80s. You know that, that like contacts, those champagne colored uh, contacts cameras from, uh, it's just, it's such a cool retro color that it comes in black, dark gray, and champagne. So uh, I've requested the champagne and because I've requested the champagne, it's taken a little longer to get here. I'm okay waiting. This is the camera that I've been hounding Fujifilm to make basically since I started this YouTube channel. I love my XA series cameras and the fact that they made one with a viewfinder that has a flip out to the side screen, which I've also wanted forever. I'm ecstatic. Doesn't do 4K. Well, it, you know what? It doesn't do 4K. 15 frames a second is not video. That's uh, that's an eight megapixel burst mode. That is not video. Don't believe them when they tell you that it is. That's okay. Um, that's it, guys. I got. I have no like, no photos to show you. Nothing like that. I just wanted to sit down and show you guys. Uh, this camera. I'm gonna take it out this weekend and just shoot the streets. I'm gonna I am gonna hit the streets in Vancouver. I've got to work a little bit downtown on Sunday morning, and then after that, I'm gonna hit up uh, Granville Street, Gastown, Chinatown, and just see what this thing can do. I'm so excited. So, X100, original X100, 12 megapixel APS-C sensor, slow as molasses hipstered out right to the max. I will have my thumb grip on it by then, so don't worry in case you really wanted to see a thumb grip on here. I know some of you think that I'm just faking this whole hipster thing, and you'd be right. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one, which will probably be a review of a seven-year-old camera and or an unboxing of the X-T100. Hit that subscribe button, uh, like this video, leave me a comment below, but be nice though. There's a lot of jerks in the comments, I'm just saying. Uh, thanks guys, see you in the next one, bye.